hello hello islanders and global viewers welcome back to my channel thank you for your support welcome new viewers today we'll be making gungo pea soup with ham bone and a pig tail okay follow me outside well guys these are my gungos on the tree they were came in a little bit late they weren't quite ready for christmas it's windy outside here you can see leaves moving but they are ready now and some of them are going to make it to the pot to make up a little that i had to buy okay guys so i'm going to be picking a few of these i have some gungo inside already because not a whole lot of the tree but i'm gonna pick some of these and add them to it right to make our ham bone soup you know after christmas you bake the ham and then the bone is left you're not gonna throw that out you're gonna make use of it you're gonna make some soup with it okay so we'll take you inside shortly after now but now i'm going to be just picking a few of these to go with what we have inside let me see if i can see and show you when gungo is ready on the tree what it really looks like <laughs> this one looking like it ready of course oh yes look in the pod look at that you see that these are ready full yeah so that's what we're gonna do shell them out like this of course and then let them join the rest all right that's what i got i'm heading inside now follow me inside i'm the chef for the soup you're the chef for the soup yes i am oh dear i i had to fly down to assist my niece with yes, this darling. special gungo soup okay right. darling i'll be taking some tutoring from you so oh. that means you can't run away you know because no, i'm gonna ask you to give me some tips oh yes i surely will okay darling no problem at all as the jamaicans normally say no problem all right stay tuned guys this is gonna be epic okay here we are in the kitchen now with all our ingredients ready to go our pig's tail or gungo peas that's it in the pot guys just left some of that to show you yeah and here is the rest that we bought <laughs> going to have some chicken foot here they're looking nice and fat focus sweet potato one carrot and this yam guys is from the property dug it out ourselves around the back there yes some corn and pumpkin and good original coconut all right that's it we're ready to go we're gonna just cut, clean these up and cut them up and get the baller rolling scald off the pig's tail boil it for about 10 minutes in some water draw off that water and then start the ball okay here's the ham bone that we're going to be using in the soup it's really ham bone so but of course we don't take off and strip off all the ham off the bone so some meat is there that we'll have also all right that's it yes this pig say look like it's ready to leave the pot it's boiling for about 10 minutes now let's call it off properly because we don't want it to be too salty yeah then mm -hmm. pour off that water add some more close it boil in a pressure cooker for another 10 minutes all right there we go ham bone is boiling out nicely in the soup we're not going to let this ham bone stay here for we we'll boil it out for about 10 to 10 minutes in this water so that 10 to 15 minutes actually so that all the flavors can leave it but guess what i need every bit of space in this pot for the food and the soup so after this boil for a little, another five to ten minutes we're going to take it out but in the meantime i'm adding my gungo now yes add in some garlic you know garlic is that flavorful thing that just add that little extra to your meal whatever it is that you prepared you notice we're always using a lot of garlic so here goes some pimento berries now top that off yes hold back nicely another 10 minutes remove the ham bone and start putting in the rest of ground provision and the pig's tail will join at that time as well Mm -hmm. Add in a chicken foot. Oh, so they're nice and fat. We have some corn chicken foot as well, but because the children are going to be partaking of this meal and the pepper is so strong, in it, we don't put too much of that in it. So, using this one. All right. Oh my days, this smells so good already. Let me tell you something, that ham bone, you can smell that nice smoke flavor coming right through in it, the pimento, the garlic, everything coming through nicely already. So right now we're adding our carrots, mm -hmm. and our pumpkin and corn, yes. 
you know, something I say I was going to take all the sambon in five to ten minutes, but I'm going to let it linger as long as it can so we get every little flavor out of it. When I'm ready to put in the dumpling and the yam and everything else, then I'll take it out so that we have more space in the pot at that point. But for now, it's gonna stay right there and simmer on. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, I'm just break my coconut now and blend it up. See that? See that I'm born how big it is? That's why I said I want to take it out in a while. But let some of the flavors go on, you know? Right into the soup. Cover it back. Good. Alright, guys, it's time to just break this coconut now because we're gonna. Yes, that's it. Oops, yes. Juice is running out now. Great, you can just hox it out. Cut it up and we're gonna just blend it today. We're not grating, we're gonna just blend it and extract the juice. Right, that's it that's it yes and then all right that's it now ox it out yes ox this one out nicely so by the way that humming oh. is a pressure cooker in the background It's my blend. All right, we're gonna strain this off now and then put it aside until we're ready to add it to the soup. All right, and add our dumplings now. Don't want them too big. A cornmeal dumpling, you know, we love cornmeal dumpling, especially in pea soup. There they go, making them a nice little size. Hey, A bit in advance to save some screen time but maybe in another video we can show you how we make the dough for the dumpling much like when really we did for the fried dumpling Good. I know something but I know until a man call me dumpling kill a nigger man how many of you know that song when you were up at school they used to say that but I don't think it's true because I've been eating call me dumpling for a long time now and here I am still standing. Hey. <laughs> yes, guys. Simmering, simmering away. So now I start putting in the dumpling and it's gonna just take out this big ham bone because my pot is filling up now. Yes, the pot starts filling up. So it's time to lift this one out. Good. All right, and now we have added our dumplings, and it's time to add our coconut milk. Oh, right in. And that's it. Wow, yes, love. All right, yum from the property. In case you missed that part of the video earlier. This is the Renta yam. It's a kind of whitish yam, but it's really nice and soft. So we cut it in thick pieces so that it don't mash out 
too quickly in the in this in the soup that's why i'm putting it a little later with our cocoa and the sweet potatoes and sweet potatoes that's right small to the slim slim sweet potato <laughs> yeah so we're putting it in now all right all right so our dumplings or yam or cocoa everything corn everything been boiling here for about 20 minutes after we put in the coconut milk now so it's time to just add all little seasoning and start seasoning the pot now listen when you're making a big pot of soup like this you're not stingy with the seasoning a big piece of fresh thyme from the garden and scallion put it there sink it down you want to just sink that right in boil it and you add some more fresh garlic to just simmer at this time add some more fresh garlic yes and just leave it to simmer down and you put this down cover it back nicely now yes mm -hmm. yes you see all that this is a full pot of soap here mm -hmm. it's got the pig's tail dumplings corn everything look at peas look at peas and meat mm. nothing is scarce in this pot nothing all right guys so you know we have quite a bit of salt meat in this pot right we have the ham bone that was kind of salty and we have the pig's tail yes so we're gonna but we tasted it a little first to ensure that it's not too salty that you can't take the noodles so we add in the noodle now okay not using the actual noodle we're just using the powder from it we don't want it too thick mm -hmm. just sift it in directly like this just a little because we have a little bit of salt in it already Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, look at that. Lovely, fabulous. Enough peas, enough of everything is going on in this pot. This skin for the nice and fat. Awesome. I'm gonna cover and let's simmer for another 10 minutes and then we'll be ready to serve this up for you. All right, this gungo peas with ham bone and pig tail soup is just about ready. All right, we're just going to drop in Captain Scotchy. You see Captain Scotchy? No soup complete without Captain Scotchy. And then we add a little butter, just a little bit, because we've been talking about the salt in this gungo pea soup with pig tail and ham bone. So we just add a little teaspoon in it, okay? That's it. Simmer a little five minutes and we are over and out, ready to serve. Awesome. Gungo soup with ham bone and the pink steel. Wow, awesome. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to give us a thumbs up, like, share, and to subscribe. Until next time, ciao!